Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to understand how to work with 8051 microcontroller. So what you see here is an LED is blinking. That means an 8051 microcontroller is sending out logic 1 through port 0 for a period of time and 8051 microcontroller is sending logic 0 through port 0 for a period of time. Any microcontroller can give out only either logic 1 or logic 0. To test whether the microcontroller is working or not, we have to send out logic 1 as well as we have to send out logic 0. If logic 1 and logic 0 comes out, that justifies we are able to bring out the data from the microcontroller. To test whether the data coming out from the microcontroller is either logic 1 or logic 0, it is better to interface an LED. So here you are able to see the blinking of an LED, which means that the logic 1 is coming out from the port 0 for a period of time and then logic 0 is coming out from the port 0 for a period of time and this blinking of an LED justifies so all possible combinations of 1s and zeros is coming out from the microcontroller so if this is happening so this microcontroller is in our control so how to bring this microcontroller in in our control so some hardware initialization need to be done as well as some software initializations need to be done let us look at the hardware initialization first so when we talk about hardware initialization it is better to look at the circuit diagram and then after looking at the circuit diagram we will come here now we will look at the circuit diagram in the screen so what you see in the screen here is a power supply circuit diagram so normally we know that so this is the power supply circuit diagram so where the adapter power supply so the power supply from the adapter that is the 9 volt signal is coming 9 volt power supply is connected to this BRK1 connector. So this power supply output is given to the bridge rectifier. So after the bridge rectifier, we are connecting it to the uh, bypass capacitor which is 104 which is 0.1 microfarad and there is a smoothing capacitor which is 1000 microfarad 25 volts and then we know that there is a 7805 regulator. So this regulated 5 volt power supply is given to the VCCP in the microcontroller. So every board will have a power supply circuit. This is the very fundamental power supply circuit we used to study and this is the circuit which you are able to see it in the kit also. If you look at the kit, here you can see, so the power from the adapter, power adapter is coming here to the BRK connector and we talk about the bridge rectifier and uh, this is the bridge rectifier which is available here. So next to this bridge rectifier you have an LED which is a power on LED and then next to this power on LED we are able to see the 7805 voltage regulator with a heat sink and then you are able to see a 1000 microfarad 25 volt capacitor here. So this top left corner of the kit is a power supply module for this ADF tune development board which ensures that 5 volt power supply constant 5 volt power supply to the microcontroller. So power supply, once the power supply is being done, we have to look at the initialization of the microcontroller. So microcontroller need to be initialized. So what do you mean by initialization of the microcontroller? With respect to 815 microcontroller, if you see, so the 20th pin need to be grounded. So 20th pin need to be grounded as you see this VSS pin. The VSS pin is the 20th pin which is grounded. And as we know that 40th pin of the microcontroller must be connected to VCC. Yes, 40th pin is connected to VCC. So and we know that if you want to make use of the internal 4 kilobytes or, or 8 kilobytes of program memory, it is mandatory for us to use this uh, 31st pin must be connected to supply voltage VCC. If the 31st pin that is the external access bar, what do you mean by external access bar means if it is bar means if you make the 31st pin is 0 means the program memory must be external externally accessed that means you can access the program memory from the external program memory but if you are connecting it to VCC means you can access the internal 4 kilobytes of program memory so connecting this 31st pin to the VCC is mandatory to make use of the internal program memory of our 8015 microcontroller as we see here so 31st pin of this 8015 microcontroller is connected to the VCC so after that we have to connect the crystal oscillator to the microcontroller so the 18th and 19th pin is connected to the crystal oscillator with 33 picofarad bypass capacitor so other high frequency noises will be grounded and uh, instead of 11.059 MHz crystal is used to produce the 9600 bar rate more comfortably so after this it is mandatory for us to look at the reset circuit. So there is no power on reset circuit inside our 85 microcontroller. So we are connecting an external power on reset circuit which is something but a high pass filter circuits with 10 microfarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm resistance. As a, so 10 microfarad capacitor is connected to the VCC and 9th pin 
and uh, from the ninth pin you are connecting the 10 kilo ohm resistance so this rc circuit will act as a high pass filter or it can act as a power on reset circuit for the microcontroller whenever you switch on the microcontroller so it will produce a logic one uh, reset is a logic high reset is active high in 850 microcontroller so whenever i switch on this uh, power on reset circuit will produce a logic one so that will that is more than enough for the microcontroller to reset during power on so power on reset circuit is done and then it is mandatory for us to connect the pull up resistors so we have to connect the pull up resistor because port 0 do not have internal pull up resistor so we have to connect the external pull up resistor for port 0 and then port 1 port 2 and port 3 we have the internal pull up resistors as we know here so connecting the supply connecting the crystal oscillator connecting the power on reset circuit connecting the 31st pin to vcc and connecting the pull up resistors for all the parallel ports is the initialization of microcontroller if you do all this then only the microcontroller will work we will check whether all these things are done in this development board so if you go to the development board in this development board as we know that the 40 pin is connected to vcc as per the circuit because the this is the circuit diagram of this board okay so again 20 pin is connected to ground if you see this this oval over part this is your 11.059 megahertz crystal and you can able to see to 33 picofarad capacitor which is connected here and so the power on reset capacitor so this is the power on reset capacitor this is 10 microfarad capacitor and nearby you can able to see 10 kilo ohm resistance so this 10 microfarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm resistance is the power on reset and then the 31st pin is also connected to vcc and if you observe carefully if you observe carefully uh, in between the gif socket and the pins you are able to see one a small strip it is you are able to see one small strip which is nothing but a single inline package resistor ic which is a pull up resistor for port 1 and similarly if you see the other side uh, adjacent to this connector between the connector and the uh, gif socket you are able to see one strip which is nothing but the single inline package pull up resistor so all the necessary initial circuit connections is being done in this board that is being verified in the circuit diagram so this justifies microcontroller is ready to function so after initializing this we have to connect the port to the corresponding peripheral so the first peripheral which can be interfaced is led so because it is a development board in this development board the leds are connected we should see the circuit schematic of this led in this uh, circuit schematic of this board if you are able to see so the led array you can able to see the led array is given so all the cathodes of this leds are connected together all the cathodes of this leds are connected together and it is grounded and all the anodes are connected to this uh, connector 4 so when you connect any uh, port to this corresponding connector 4 all the 8 leds will glow whenever the port pin is giving out logic 1 all the leds 8 leds will not glow when the port the, is giving logic 0 so our interest is if you observe carefully our interest is to connect the port 0 to the led so for example where is port 0 connector if you see so this is the port 0 connector so 32 pin to 39 pin is connected to port 0 so this port 0 uh, connector is the output of port 0 and this is the led input connector and we need a cable 8 pin cable to interconnect connector 4 with port 0 connector so that is the cable which you are able to see here in this thing so port 0 is connected to the leds and then led is blinking now so we should see this is the hardware initialization so so connecting the led which justifies the hardware is being initialized hardware part of the embedded system or hardware part is being done now we have to look at the software part so going to the software part it is mandatory for us to go to the key led so this is the code which is written for blinking of an led so where we are initializing the code with hash include reg 51.h and then we are introducing a small delay to overcome the persistence of vision and then so port 0 equal to once complement of port 0 this timber this tilde symbol notifies that it is once complement and so the delay is blinking with the 20,000 delay let me take this change this delay as something like 5,000 delay let us see what happens so the delay is reduced means the led will blink faster that is what we are expecting now so purposefully we are changing the delay to 5000 and then we have to rebuild the code if we are rebuilding the code the new hexadecimal file will be created in the name of the project here the name of the project is mpmc experiments and the executable hexadecimal file is created in the name of the project which is mpmc experiment this hexadecimal file is an executable file in the target machine so how to 
transfer this executable hexadecimal file from the host machine to the target machine means by using the Nuoton IC. So this is very interesting. So we are using the Nuoton IC. What is the significance of Nuoton IC? Nuoton IC is having an in-system programming facility through UART. So with the help of COM port, there is a possibility for us to download the code from the host machine to the target machine. So the host machine having an executable file which is hexadecimal file in the name of project. So this file need to be copied. So the Kyle IDE generates executable hexadecimal file in the name of mpmcexperiments.h. This hexadecimal file is an executable file in the target machine. Target machine is our 851 microcontroller. Here the 8051 core based NOAT and IC is there. So we are selecting this executable file and what is the NOAT and IC? W78 E0 52D is our NOAT and IC which is 8051 equivalent. Okay. And the virtual COM port generated here is COM18 and then after loading this file we have to create the update chip. So when you click the update chip automatically it will show that it is programming. So while it is doing that it is mandatory for us to press the reset button. When you press the reset button as we know that two times it will go and then it will give plus. So when pass comes means the hexadecimal file executable hexadecimal file is downloaded from the host machine which is PC to the program memory of the target machine which is our uh, 851 microcontroller through this cable through the serial cable you see through the COM port. So there is a COM port here. So through this COM port uh, the executable hexadecimal file is uh, programmed into the program memory of this NOAT and IC. So once if you click OK in the pass, say for example if you click OK in the pass, it is blinking with the delay of 5000. Earlier it was blinking with the delay of 20,000. Now it is blinking with the delay of 5000 which justifies the program that what we have written is going inside the flash memory as well as it is responding to the code that what we have written. So this is what the initialization of microcontroller. Now the microcontroller is ready for any application. Here this blinking of an LED is an application which can be related as junction warning system. What do you mean by junction warning system? All the traffic signals after 10 pm to uh, 6 am those traffic signals are making uh, blinking as we, as, as we see here all the traffic signals are blinking. So those traffic signals are blinking from 10 pm to 6 am to notify that uh, there is a junction and uh, there is a warning signal. So hence this blinking of an LED can be treated as an application like junction warning system. Hence we have done a junction warning system by making the LED blinking which is which is nothing but the data coming out from the port 0 is logic 1 for a period of time and logic 0 for a period of time. This is how we have to start developing the project using 851 microcontroller. Here once again I am telling you because the LED is blinking we are, stop blink we are stopping blinking here because everything is in our control. Hardware is in our control, software is in our control. So both the hardware and software are okay. That is why things are working fine. Thank you very much.